welcome to Review the Brew with me, Joe Brew. Too loud, as always. Sound like I'm a very loud carol singer. I was also the loud clapper in assembly. Who misses school? That's what I'm about to clap for. Hello, and welcome to Review the Brew with me, Joe Brew. Only this time, it's a Christmas special, which is why I'm wearing this hat that looks like a Christmas pudding, which I'm going to take off because it's quite warm in here. Um, makes me look Christmassy for a start. Second Christmassy thing. It's a robin on my shoulder. So, what's that? <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, that's the second Christmassy thing. The third Christmassy thing was meant to be this, this jumper, but this jumper makes me look more like a mm, sort of suburban, suburban American mom. Uh, an American mom. Fourth Christmassy thing is that I won't be trying a beer today. No, no, this is something a bit more special. So instead of having a beer, we're gonna have, it's gonna be review, in fact, come on, let's do it. Review the tipple with Joe Ripple. Nah. Re review the Christmas tipple with jo What was it I did before, Katie? Ah, triple tipple with Joe Nipples. Um, so, Christmas tipple, three different drinks for my delectation. First up, we have the Snowball. The classic Snowball, Advocat, Lime, Lemonade, all in one drink. Who doesn't love a Christmas tipple? That is 3.5% uh, contains egg, and I am no fan of egg, so that could be fun. 3.5% um, though, so it's well within our remit. Number two, a Baby Sham. Will remind you of those days drinking on the beach because this is a refreshing, sparkling Perry. Remind you of those days drinking Lambrini because Lambrini, if you hadn't known, cherry lamb and lamb are a cherry Perry and a Perry. So this is actually a sparkling Perry masquerading as champagne. Number three is the dangerous number, the dangerous drink, the higher percentage. Brew to be drinking. Oh, sorry, baby sham. What was the what was the percentage on that before we move on? Six percent. Oh, okay. Well, that one is as well then. Six percent on that one. This is a Christmas special. I'm going to be risolid by the end of this night because this is cherry B. Cherry B what? Cherry B. Drinking, and she's drinking cherry B. Delicious. So that's a cherry wine that is 11.5 percent. Uh, apparently, it says on here that it goes. Well, it says on the in the packet, the main packet. New bigger size. It goes well over ice, or topped up with lemonade. So I do have lemonade and a a sort of palate cleanser of Murphy's and Black. We shall start lower percentage going up. I mean, really, because it feels like the egg would curdle. Feels like we should do the egg last, but no, we're gonna go low percentage, move our way up, like you might plan your night if you were planning on getting really drunk and you were a teenager. So this is a snowball. This is something that, uh, I always thought eggnog and snowball were the same thing, but they absolutely aren't. This is Advocar, lemonade and lime. It's a Christmas cocktail that you'd have probably 70s, 80s, you know. Be fun to have that on tap in a in a, a pub, wouldn't it? No pubs this year, but you know, in the future. By the way, this moustache is the result of me overzealously trimming my moustache after a comment last week that I had the worst moustache ever. Whilst that may be true, this tops it, you. Sorry. This tops it, you idiot. Here we go. Crack open. Not particularly fizzy. Um, I've also got, before I pour, one, two, three special glasses. Have a look at that, ladies and gents. That is a glass and a half and another glass and a half. Three glasses. 
There we go. So that's a special glass for a special drink. Snowball, 3.5%. Here we go. It's quite thick. Quite a thick drink. Let's have a smell. Ah, uh, I'll be honest with you, it might have been a bad idea to smell it. <laughs> it smells a little bit like... <laughs> baby's farts. <laughs> it smells like a really bad baby's fart. Uh, not that I've been smelling too many baby's farts, but whenever I've smelled one, it smells like this. Not much more to tell you, it smells like a hangover. Oh man, a hangover on a day when you've been drinking cocktails from somewhere that doesn't do particularly good cocktails. Like a really... Oh man, okay fine, drink it. I, I will like it. Sweet, delicious, snowball. Cheers, chin chin. It tastes great. It tastes like... Oh yeah, it tastes... Almost like palatable jism. Why am I smelling it again? It tastes like cream, egg, creamy, sweet, but not too sweet. That lime really takes the edge off. Fizzy in a way that shouldn't work because it's like fizzy milk. A bit like fizzy milk, snowball. I keep smelling it. Nutmeg in there. It's not eggnog, it's Advocat. I'll finish this. I, I mean, I can't get that smell out of my head. But I'm still drinking it, which really says something. Must be quite tasty. As you can see, it's left a multitude of legs, like a millipede drink, on the sides of that glass. We'll move on. A fine drink. Absolutely fine. Right, so next up, the baby sham, which as I said is a sparkling peri, best served chilled. This has been chilled for about 10, 15 minutes in the fridge on on, <laughs> on this little, little thing here, little, oh, I don't know what you'd call that, advertorial on the the lid it says the happiest drink in the world so I mean it feels like it looks like the kind of thing you put a straw in and then straw pedo drink all down as one I mean it almost feels like pointless okay I'm smelling that as well okay. it, it, it smells like white lightning it smells like the homebrew that was made by your teenage pal. The one that smelled like it had chunks. <laughs> uh, smell that we used to do a terrible thing with uh, White Lightning. First time, one of the first few times I ever got drunk, we used to do pouring it now. We used to do, because you remember with um, illicit substances, we used to do a thing called two toke pass or three toke pass. Well, we used to do two sip pass with bottles of white lightning. It wasn't white lightning. It wasn't called white lightning. What was it called? It was called Frosty Jacks, right? You didn't. You didn't drink that. You drank Lambrini. Well, it's like Lambrini, Lambrini as well. But I mean, it's funny, isn't it? Because Frosty Jacks was almost the one that was aimed at the guys, and for for the ladies, a massive <laughs> bottle. A massive bottle of Lambrini or Lamb, as we used to call it. Do you call it Lammers? Lambers. Lambers sounds like a cricketer. And this, yeah, doesn't smell like a cricketer. <laughs> it smells fine. It just, it just smells poorly. Yeah, it smells a bit poorly. Smell, smells of, smells of days when it used to have a hangover. So anyway. Baby sham, a little dram, jam. Cheers. Oh, I'll tell you what though. 
It's nicer. That is nicer. It's a bit fizzier than um, a bit fizzier than uh, Lambrini. Baby sham. It's baby sham. It's. I mean, if if you really don't like champagne and complex flavours, try this. This is this is like. More simple than an abacus. Not that an abacus is simple. This is this is your maths the maths homework that you could do using a calculator. This is doesn't slap you in the face. Just warmly greet your taste buds with a spot of Christmas cheer. It almost tastes like grapes to me. You know, if it was a wine, there's no grapes in it, right? But it tastes like schlur, right? So schlur is like non-alcoholic wine, fizzy grape juice. This is like fizzy non-alcoholic, alcoholic grape juice. They must be made of pears. Let's have a look at the ingredients of this baby sham. Oh, I've just realised that baby shambles. Uh, Pete Doherty's band were probably named after baby sham, right? Ah, yeah, you say yep. Yeah. <laughs> terrible name. Does it say the ingredients on the packet out there, by the way? Do we know what, whether it is made with pets? It's made by a wine company, for a start. I'm on a sip. Doesn't say. It's just, it's just Perry. So it must be made with that. I'll finish it again. I, I can see having that on Christmas Day. Give it to the kids. Don't give it to the kids. But if you were to give it to the kids, don't. I just told you not to. It's all right. I'll finish that. Cheers. Right, the final one. Cherry B. I do think I remember this being in really tiny bottles. This is a 200ml bottle now. Same size as the other two. Which I'm going to have to finish later because there's no waste on this channel. It's a cherry bee. Now a cherry bee is spoken about in whispers. It sort of feels like a tonic wine, like a slarty bark fast, buck fast, that's what it's called. A buck fast, I'm a little bit more sizzled than I was before. A buck fast, or what is the other one? Sinatogen, that's another one. That sort of feels like the same sort of feel as this. All of these have said contains sulfites. Hope I don't not need sulfites. I mean, genuinely. That's why people get pissed on Christmas, because they drink all of these. Cherry B, cherry wine. Jermaine Stewart sang in his famous song, We Don't Have To Take Our Clothes Off, that they'll just have some cherry wine. And if he was talking about this sort of wine, then that's an 11.5% wine, Jermaine Stewart. I think you were being passive aggressive. Here goes. Open up. I, it smells a bit like the cherry lambrini <laughs> is that but stronger obviously because the baby sham was only six percent smells like cherry cherry cola sweets or cherries the cherries not not haribo cherries specifically like the big flubbery cherries that you get in a pick and mix at wilco not wilkinson wilco the final glass the final drink. Well, sort of, because I'm going to only pour a little bit in here. So, I called these tipples a few years ago. I was trying to get tippling to be a thing, and tippling was to be a thing where you drink low ABV drinks on a whole night out. However, my low ABV drinks at that point were going to be stuff like Malibu and Coke. And archers and coke this would have been another mixed with lemonade or coke like a cherry coke i'm gonna give this a little try cheers to the tipple
for what is very sweet. It's very nice. It's nice. Not amazing, but nice. I mean, I can see that with a... It feels like the syrup... Tastes like the syrup that you get in a slush puppy. But imagine that slush puppy. <laughs> Look at the puppy on that. What does that mean? It tastes like... Let me, let me give you a full rundown of the taste. I'll taste it again on its own. Well, it's definitely got that aura of the past. Oh, tongue's fine. It's got that cherry flavour. <laughs> it tastes like it smells. It tastes like disappointment on a Christmas day when you've been waiting in for your loved one. And they arrive and they're only carrying some petrol station flowers, right? It's petrol station flowers and no apology. That is Cherry B. Cherry B with lemonade, however, could well be another story. Literally. That was about half and half, 50-50. It tastes like medicine. That's the thing. It tastes like horrible medicine. I should, I didn't even cleanse my palate between drinks. Horrible medicine from the past that's miles out of date. The only thing missing is that crunchiness that you get on out of date medicine. And as I said about one of the other drinks, it tastes a bit poorly. And now I feel a bit poorly, but I didn't tell you what was going on in the other room the whole time. I'll tell you what it was. Christmas presents are being wrapped or made. I don't know what this is. Which one? Making Christmas presents. What's that? Oh, yes. Making Christmas presents for my mother. Is that right? Yeah, Christmas present for my mother. Christmas present not for my mother but for because it's secret santa but that's that was to throw you off the scent for someone else i hate secret santa pardon me i don't think you get the credit that you deserve so um i i mean i got someone else and i you know i didn't really bother really making them a present because what why bother when they don't know that it's you that made it so I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna like a poo in a box, and I'm just gonna pretend it's from someone else, or play on the old. I can't. You can't know. You can't know who got you the poo in the box. Could have been any of us. Anyway, I think these drinks have gone to my head. So now I must go to my bed. And that's why 4.2, don't touch that brew, 11.5. Oh my god, are you still alive? Let's use that as an infographic. Gotta go. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs>